Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming cognizant exam today I am going to cover one of the most important topic for cognizant that is aptitude round so I hope all of you have covered your communication assessment then you are having your aptitude assessment right so in aptitude assessment you will be having total 30 mcqs from different uh, quants topics and after that you will be having total uh 50 minutes of game based aptitude questions okay so i am just going to cover all of these so just wait and watch till end so that you can cover all of these okay so let me share the first question but before that i hope you know how much important of this round have okay so uh, i hope you have given the communication assessment right so if you have performed well let's say you perform 70 percent okay and in aptitude round if you perform 70 percent okay so all of these will be added and overall marks will be uh, like impacting in your selection i hope you understood so sometimes communication assessment is an elimination round and also aptitude assessment is an elimination round and also the technical rounds are elimination round but sometimes sometimes what happen they only give the assessment link of communication assessment if you perform well then only they give you the aptitude assessment link and if you perform well in aptitude round then only you will be getting the technical assessment link but in case if you get all the exam link at once then uh, be sure that you'll be having all the exams okay so uh, those are not elimination so i hope you understood so overall marks will be matter at the end of the day so i hope you will uh, keep it in mind so the first question is this so actually i have opted the uh, easiest questions from the slot so i hope you can solve this by your own if not only then come to watch otherwise skip the video okay so how many five digit numbers being uh, formed using two three six eight zero when repetitions of digits is not allowed so please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment sections so let me give you the uh, solutions i hope you have tried so let me uh, just cross verify if your answer is right or not so how many five digits uh, number being formed can be formed using this so two three six eight zero right so the normal rule normal rule to get all the combinations of these is like the number of digit factorial okay number of digit factorial so that becomes 120 but there is one exceptional scenario that's why they have asked this type of easy, easy questions so suddenly you could have opted this one but there is a catch that is there is a one digit zero so for zero there are uh, let's say a few combinations will be there which will be starting from zero right so zero two three six eight zero three two six eight so this way total few combinations will be there which will be starting from zero so we have to exclude those so for that uh, total combination of that such will be four factorial so that will be uh four three is that uh yeah 24 so that will be is that should be subtracted okay so 120 minus 24 so that will be the actual answer so 96 okay so total uh five digit numbers can be formed using all of these digits when repetition of digits are not allowed okay so that will be uh 96 okay so i hope you understood uh and i hope you guys know that aon is conducting the aptitude assessment and metal is conducting the technical assessment so why i'm telling you is that because they will obviously repeat the questions so i have already uploaded all the repeated questions at topmate.io slash techno underscore uf so please visit that website and just uh, confirm that you have already have that materials because as you can see the feedback of our prime members that is i got so many common questions from your material so just purchase this uh like we have included aptitude.net java python coding sql html CSS, javascript communication assessment uh, mock test interview experience everything you need to prepare okay so as you can see we have been tagged as top one percent influencer in top mate so please uh have it you will obviously going to crack the exams uh i am just assuring you okay so as you will get common questions okay so if ray can run a certain distance in eight hours at 65 km per hour and dev can cover the same distance in four hours at 70 km per hour find the ratio of their distance okay sorry so i hope you will try at first then you will watch okay so uh what will be the answer that is i hope you know that is 
um, the distance is equal to time into the speed okay uh, sorry speed so here uh, ray has covered ray has covered 8 into 65 8 into 65 and dev has covered 4 into 70 so 65 into 80 that becomes uh, 40 48 520 okay so 520 is equal to 280 okay so what will be the ratio so this is the total distance right so what will be the ratio that is 520 is to 280 so um mm, 721 so guys 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 um, okay so 4 13 4 7 so 13 is to 7 will be the answer okay so actually sometimes it becomes confusing uh, confusing okay so i hope your answer is also same so let me go to the next question so two types of magnets a and b are stored in a ratio of 4 is to 7 in a science lab if the total number of magnets is 66 how many of each type are there so please try to pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section okay so uh i hope this is visible to you guys okay so if the total number of magnets is 66 so total is 66 and the ratio is 4 is to 7 so a is 4 by 4 plus 7 that is 11 and b is 7 by 11 okay so the total number will be just multiply this by 66 so 11 into 6 11 into 6 so that becomes uh, 24 and 42 okay so this is the correct answer okay so i hope you understood guys so actually this is very easy question and i have just chosen the easiest one i'm going to upload all the hardest questions as well so just subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding cognizant so that you don't miss anything okay so guys please subscribe this doesn't cost anything okay so the next question is this a jeweler is designing a necklace with four, uh, 40 gems initially 25 percent of the gems are diamonds and the rest are sapphire so however after a, a client's request the jeweler replaces 20 percent of the sapphires with additional diamonds how many sapphires are left after the modification so you have to just have the knowledge of percentage okay nothing else so let me just give the answer i hope you have already tried okay so guys actually in this days what happened uh just one thing just one experience i need to share with you guys before i answer that is in cognizant after you give the interview or after you uh write the technical assessment there will be some delay between your assessment and your interview or your interview result to the selection result so there will be some delay okay so don't bother us that when will be uh when will our result will be published okay so please have patience because they are taking some time as usual okay this is not exceptional so i hope you will keep it in, in your mind okay so let me just give the answer of this question so there were total 40 gems okay so initially 25 percent of the gems are diamonds 25 percent of 40 is what 25 percent of 40 is equal to what so what is the uh, shortcut i have told you earlier in percentage video that is 100 percent of 40 is 40 200 percent sorry uh, 50 percent of the 40 is what 50 percent will be obviously 20 so 50, uh, 25 percent will be the half of 20 that is 10 okay so 25 percent of the gems are diamonds so the diamonds will be total 10 and the rest are sapphires so rest means 40 minus 10 so sapphires will be 40 minus 10 that is 30 okay however after the client's request the jeweler replaces 20 percent of the sapphires 20 percent of the sapphires with additional diamonds so 20 percent of the sapphires so 20 percent of 30 is what 20 percent is uh 2 into 3 that is 6 okay nothing else uh i can 
like answer it easily but you can uh <laughs> you can remember in your ways okay so 20 percent of 30 is 20 to 3 that is 6 okay so uh what is uh, it is told that 20 percent of the sapphires with additional diamond so how many sapphires are left after the modification so 30 right so there were 30 sapphires but replaced uh six are replaced so 24 are remaining so 24 sapphires are there okay so i hope you understood what's the question and how i solved okay so let me go to the next question that is uh this uh from interest simple interest so if 400 dollar is invested at simple interest rate of four percent per annum for four years what will be the total interest earned 34 22 64 58 so actually this is very easy so i don't want to give the answer but still let me give the answer i'm going to give you a quick question at the end so just to wait okay so i hope you know the rule for simple interest that is prt by 100 right so t is 400 r is 4 and t is 4 right so 100 so 4 into 4 into 4 4 cube that is 64 right so this is the correct answer so let me go to the next question that is the last question of today's session so that is this a shopkeeper makes a profit of 10 percent on selling a us polo t-shirt by giving a discount of 30 percent if the marked price of the um t-shirt is raised 2050 what is the cost price of the idol so i can give you a hint but i'll not give right now so guys uh, before i show you the game based aptitude this is a quiz question please give the answer in the comment section so uh, guys uh, before i show you the uh, game based aptitude questions just one thing uh, i want you to highlight that is um so this type of easy questions will be asked uh, total 15 easy questions will be asked to you and total 15 moderate level qu questions will be asked to you also okay so please remember that and let me just highlight a few game based aptitude questions so i i am i have just uploaded a uh, full video where i have explained about all the rounds in communication assessment right so please watch the sorry not communication assessment uh game based aptitude so please visit that video guys just a few days back two or three days back i have uploaded a full video on game based aptitude please go through that video so that you, get, you don't miss any uh or any, any rounds any sections okay so in game based aptitude you'll be having inductive reasoning you'll be having a uh, sudoku motion challenge and and also there are a few rounds so please watch that video so that you don't miss anything okay so uh, i hope you will uh, keep it in your mind so at the end before i end so i'll recommend you again to visit topmate.io slash techno underscore so that you prepared well and within very few days okay so thank you